Listen, Tiffany, we've been dating for a month and I think we're just perfect for each other. So I want to make it official. Will you be my girlfriend? Kevin, I meant to tell you this weeks ago. It's over. What? Can you at least tell me why? Is it because my house smells like fish? No, I like fish. Is it because I eat with my hands? No, I actually thought that was really cute. Is it because my mom and Tita's low-key body shame you and say, Hoy, toma bacana, every time they see you and perpetuate the impossible beauty standards put on females? You're reaching just a little. Oh yeah, that's right. Then why? I'm sorry, you're just too short. No! Height got you down? Yes, Filipinos are short. Let's get that out of the way. The Philippines is one of the shortest countries in the world. We, we've heard the jokes. Uh, yeah, I don't mind dating short Filipina girls. She can be my little Oompa Loompia. But just how short are Filipinos? Let's take a look. For females, surprisingly, Filipinos aren't the shortest in the world. That distinction belongs to female Guatemalans, with an average height of 410.5 or 148.7 centimeters. But we are the shortest country from Southeast Asia, we're down here at an average height of 5.0 or 151.8 centimeters. The tallest females in the world hail from Bosnia and Herzegovina at 5.7 or 171.8 centimeters. For males, Filipinos come in at 5'4.5 or 163.5 centimeters. In fact, Filipinos aren't even the shortest from Southeast Asia. Those are the men from East Timor, who measure at 5'2.5 or 158.7 centimeters. They also happen to be the shortest men in the world. So, who are the tallest? That would be the men from the Daneric Alps, standing at a commanding 6'1 or 185.6 centimeters. Hey, I have a question for you. If Filipinos are short, does that mean they all have small d***s? Small d***s. Yeah, small d***s. Is that true at all? Well, no! Actually, according to most studies, there is very little correlation between length and height. In fact, there are some scientific studies that say there's no correlation at all. But if you are having trouble pleasing your woman, maybe you should take a look into adamandeve.com. adamandeve.com is one of the leading sites in the world for your favorite love products. With our code AT50, you can get 50% off one item and get free shipping to anywhere in the United States and Canada. So I guess the better question is why? Why are Filipinos so short? There must be some irony in the fact that the national sport of the Philippines is basketball. You know, the sport that relies on height the most. <sighs> this is some cruel joke the universe is playing on us. Why couldn't we have fallen in love with soccer like everyone else in the world? Well, it comes down to one of the oldest questions in the world. Is it because of nature or nurture? Are Filipinos just genetically short? Is it in our DNA to be little Oompa Loompias forever? Or is it a result of our environment? Poor diet? Not enough milk? Oh! He needs some milk! Actually, I heard the whole milk making you tall thing was just propaganda started by milk companies to get you to buy more of it. Of course, I needed to find answers. I did what any sane person would. I went on Reddit. Why are Filipinos so short? <laughs> Because our, <laughs> because our parents did not jump during New Year's Eve. Our diet is like 50 to 80% rice. Also, it's a poor country. Nutrition isn't as a priority as filling your baby's tummies. Ban the rice. Now, nah. <laughs> yeah, right. Over my dead body. Man, we're not short. <laughs> we're just vertically challenged. <laughs> the Westerners are too tall, to be honest. <laughs> Freaks of nature, I say. <laughs> Yeah, we're not short. You guys are just too tall. Mm. Oh, that's what the next comment says. Uh, concentrated. Filipinos are concentrated. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the rest of that. 
According to an ABS-CBN article in 2015, it states, one in every three Filipino children is small for his age, not because of his genetic traits, but due to chronic malnutrition or prolonged hunger. The Philippines is one of 10 countries in the world with the most number of malnourished children, with 3.6 million kids suffering from stunting, a permanent and irreversible form of malnutrition. So for my future countrymen in Kababayan, how can we help our posterity grow taller so that we can realize our dream? A Filipino playing in the NBA. Oi, Kai Soto, what's your secret, huh? The article continues by saying the first 1,000 days from a mother's pregnancy up to the child's second birthday is the most critical period in providing nutrition to children. The article goes on to state the importance of breastfeeding and not using substitutes such as baby formula. The World Health Organization estimates that by 2025, about 127 million children under five years will be stunted, assuming that the current trend continues. So if that's the case, let's change that trend. Hey guys. That's it for my video. If you guys like it, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks again to adamandeve.com for sponsoring this video. And as always, hey, um, can we get some milk in here? Gatas! Sigal natin to.